Hey, what is up, guys? Dan here from the Minecart One, and I am with is you. Nest it, you know it. Black. He's back. He is not black. That's probably racist. I'm probably gonna cut that out, but whatever. You know your boy, your Austin. Say what's good. Let them use what's up? So, I, and if you don't know who Austin is, I'm Charisma, aka um, Austin Powers. Please make a good movie. <laughs> Hey, gold member was pretty good. I'm sorry, I had to throw that at you. But what's up, Austin? Not much, man. Just chilling. So making taquitos. <laughs> I got my Doritos over in the corner, but I'm too lazy to get up. So that's my. We life. got them Doritos and taquitos. <laughs> nice. Actually, you know, we getting some Fritos and burritos. Nice. So, right. Austin, what did you want to talk about today? Well. Where we're going to be in five years, that'd be a great topic. Yeah, that is actually one topic that many people talk about, is where they're going to be in the next five, maybe ten years. Now, for me, I have a lot of choices in my career. I could take YouTube as a career. I could probably take DJing as a career. Hell, I could even go into the Army. I have a lot of options. I have a lot of time. I still got another year in high school, so I still have a lot of time. Knowing Austin, he probably wants to go into COD, sit on a couch, become an actual potato... And live life and chill like, you know, Bill Nye the Science Guy. That is very offensive. I would not be a potato, I'd be a spud. Get it right. Anyways. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> no, no, I thought you were a senior. Nah, I'm a junior, dude. Damn, so am I. Damn, so All right, well, Back at it again with the... God. Retard comments. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yo, a dead ass. Right, well, yo, dead ass. I feel like I'm Keemstar right now. So today's topic is the dog. <laughs> fuck. No, Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know about right, that? Anyways, no, and I don't want to. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna send you a link later. You please watch it. Oh god. All right. All right. So is it my turn? Yep. Go ahead. Four zeros, buddy. And the spotlight goes to Austin. Go. Take it away. All right. So in five. And years, that's a wrap. Damn. <laughs> well, shit. JK, JK. Uh, no. <laughs> Continue. No, like, definitely, yeah, the competitive thing, competitive Call of Duty is something that I really want to take up because I've been passionate about it and I've been competing since 2012. Okay. But honestly, if that. Watch this beep. It's just fucking. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> if the competitive doesn't work out, I'll definitely like to take up, like, YouTube or streaming or anything, and if that doesn't work out, like you said, you were going to the Army, I don't know if you knew this about me or not, but I want to go into the Marines. Hey, my boy. So, <laughs> so, that's definitely an option, and if neither of those work, I definitely want to, like, I'm, I'm trying to go to college and get, like, a major in graphic design. Same. Uh, so... Like, I don't know, try to take the graphic designing and put it into, like, go into another, I don't know, set, like, go into making video games and I stuff hear. and, like, become a video game producer or something like that. You. you know, because I'm really passionate about video games and it's not like I'm a nerd or anything. I mean, I am a nerd, but <laughs> that's the point. And, uh, you know, it's just, I think it'd be a great idea to do something that I really love and not just sit in a cubicle and <laughs> hate life. <laughs> sit in a cubicle, working nine to five, drinking that morning coffee, typing 10,000 pages that mean nothing to your life. That's the life, you guys. Work your ass off, sit in a cubicle, type your ass off, get probably arthritis, have like, you know, whatever that surgery is on your wrist or whatever, carpal tunnel. <laughs> Go have that and go live your life. Yeah, you heard it from Austin. True. Uh, whoa, 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 Right. Now, a little bit backstory on me is that the reason I'm here and the reason I kind of started YouTube was that I went through a lot of depressional issues during school. School always got to me, you know, all the drama, bullshit, and whatnot. But, you know, I took up YouTube, and then, you know, it's funny, people started hating me because they're like, yo, why did you throw this out on the internet? Why did you throw that on, on the internet? Well, I mean, it's a way to help me get out of that stress out, and I can, I think you'd understand that to the full extent. Mm -hmm. yep. So, I mean... And then, you know, later on, you know, a couple of months later, then, you know, my mom passes away, sadly. So next thing you know, yep. that puts me in a whole nother hurdle. I'm like, oh, God. So, yeah. The way I met Austin is pretty funny. I know this guy named Eli, and he kind of 
I kind of started watching this kid. I was like, yo, let me become your graphical designer. And then every other week, this kid named Austin would hit me up, say, yo, where's my intro? Yo, you got my thing ready? Yo, you got yo, this ready? Yo, suck my dick. Yo, you got that ready? I can't suck something that doesn't exist, dude. I'm sorry. That's not how physics works. Fuck you! <laughs> JK. But all in all, we both come from a, like a background that, you know, we've been through shit. We've really been through a lot. So, yeah. Well... My like a little background on me. Um, I went through a really bad phase of depression when my best friend died in 2011. Uh, you know, he committed suicide, and it just sucks because like the night, the yeah, the day before he asked if he could stay the night, I said no because I was busy, and then you know, next day he was kind of yeah. Uh, and I was living in my old hometown, and the kids there just kept picking on me about it. And just, it got so bad to a point where we had to move to the school that I'm currently going through now. Uh, and I, I still was going through a depressed uh, phase, and that's whenever I started my first YouTube, no, my second YouTube channel. Up. And, you know, like Nan said, it helps get out the stress and stuff. And, you know, I also have to go through the stress of both my parents. They are slowly, you know, going because my dad has cancer and my mom's liver is failing her so i mean basically the i don't time, know when it's... The, the, the days are almost you can almost count them yeah the days are not like it's so it's scary, it's scary to because like go to school any day it could happen it, yeah yeah, I, I know the yeah that's, like that's what i'm saying yeah, like i hear you dude it's scary to go to school and just come back thinking oh shit, did it happen you yeah. know or not because like like, I ride the bus home, and before I get to my house, there's this corner, and I'm kind of scared. To, like, one of these days, I'm going to turn that corner, and, gonna like and I'm going to see, like, an ambulance. Yeah. 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 I know what you mean. So, uh, you know, I've been going through the days. I recently got out of a bad breakup uh, around January. It was, like, January 2nd, whenever it happened. Like, we dated for a year, and then we broke up. Uh, January 14th, I met, uh, I, no. January 10th, I met this girl, and January 14th, I went to one of her basketball games, because she doesn't go to the same school as I do. Okay. I went to one of her basketball games, and I was there, and, you know, we kind of just, like, it kind of happened. We kind of just asked each other out, and we said yes, and me and her have been dating for three months now. Uh, so she's, she's helped me out. Gentlemen. Three months, what a record. Here we go. Suck a dick, Dude, I'm actually anyways. giving you a compliment, bro. Okay, all right, kick all this guy all out of my all channel. All Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> so you know. But yeah, congrats, uh, man. But, thanks, man. Um, and but here, can I ask recently? A can I ask a question on this? Does the relationship yep, help with the fact that with your parents' situation? Does that relationship that you have yes. help? Yes, because she knows that, like she she helps me through it. Cause like I'll get upset about it every now and then, and she'll talk to me, like just talk to me and calm me down and stuff. So it definitely does help. Um. And something I didn't announce yet, like on my YouTube, is that I actually had I'm I'm taking a break from competitive, um, which has been the best decision of my fucking life because these last couple of days have been just so relaxing and non-stressful because, you know, I always had a stress of performing well, being on like during a certain time, had to play during Basically, a certain yeah, time. Yeah, like your your days are scheduled to, you know. Yeah, and I don't like days. that. I, I, I want to be able to live my life. Yeah, I totally um, Like, today, I went to town for the first time in maybe a month, so <laughs> that was fun. Nice. But, um, yeah, so... I finally got this, my ass you... out of that couch. I had to climb <laughs> yeah. three miles from the den I put in. <laughs> <laughs> but this YouTube that I have now, because I went through a thousand YouTubes, no lie, and I just don't like it, but... Uh, this YouTube I have confidence about because I'm actually sticking true to my upload schedule, which is one video every other day at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, uh -oh. the voice crack. Oh, oh. oh. he hit puberty, <laughs> ladies and brother. gentlemen. His balls finally yes. dropped. Wait, that's if Ball he has any. Anyway, <laughs> can't suck um, something that doesn't exist. Get blow this. me, blow me. <laughs> I'm about to pop up a picture right. of Eli doing that for you. Boop. <laughs> but um, this is definitely, I, I like, I like this idea of recording and stuff, like getting another person in and just like going over some topics. I got a topic for you though, Dan. I got one for right, you. Shoot me.
Hey guys, Dan here, and this uh, topic will be answered in the next video. So hopefully you guys did like this uh, video. I had to cut it short due to what we are going to talk about, but hopefully you guys are ready for that topic. The topic is, what would you do if you only had 24 hours to live? So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.